Meiosis is sometimes called reduction division. It's the type of cell division that produces gametes. By gametes, we mean sex cells such as sperm cell in male and egg cell in females. Meiosis is, divide, is broken into two sets of division, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 has four phases, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1. Then meiosis 2 also have four phases, which is prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and telophase 2. Let's look at what happened during meiosis 1. In prophase 1 starts with diploid cell. The chromatin contains two uncoiled spread out sets of chromosomes, one from each parent. After the DNA and the chromatid replication, it condenses into the more familiar X chromosomes. The replicated DNA is the same in the identical sister chromatids of each chromosome. In a process called synapsis, each chromosome pairs up with and binds into two with corresponding chromosomes, forming a tetrad. Tetrad is a group of four sister chromatids in pair homologous chromosomes. Chromosome contains genes, genetic information called gene. These genes were inherited from each parent and different versions of gene in chromosomes are alleles. In a process called crossing over, chromatids from each homologous chromosome exchange segments of alleles, also called recombination. Crossing over randomly on every chromosome resulting in different gene combination. This explains why every gene is directly different from every gamete. Crossing over results in variation. This is why children are different from their parents. The nuclear membrane disappears and the centrioles move to the opposite end of the cell and the spindle fibers find out from them. The second stage in metaphase 1 Homologous chromosomes line up at the equator and attach to spindle fibers from opposite poles. Then the third phase, during, that's the anaphase. During the anaphase one, spindle fibers separate the homologous chromosomes in each tetrad and proving to opposite poles of the cell. The cell enters telophase, the last stage, with one chromosomes from each homologous piece. However, each chromosome still contains sister chromatid. Sister chromatid are no longer identical because of the crossing over. The spindle fibers disappear and the nuclear membrane across the chromosomes uh, across the chromosome. Finally, cytokinesis occurs. Meiosis 1 ends with two genetically different haploid cells. Each haploid cell contains only one set of chromosomes, consisting of paired sister chromatids. Both cells now enter the next stage, which is meiosis 2. Unlike meiosis 1, DNA does not re replicate before meiosis 2 begins. In prophase 2, the nuclear membrane disappears and spindle fiber find out from these two sets of peer centrioles and also called recombination centrioles. During metaphase 2, chromosomes in each cell line up at the equator and attach to the spindle of fibers from both poles. During anaphase 2, the sister chromatid of each Chromosomes separate and move to opposite poles. Once the sister chromatids separate, they are called chromosomes. Finally, during telophase 2, the spindle fiber disappear and nuclear membrane reform and cytokinesis occur in both cells. It ends with four genetically different haploid daughter cells, each containing sets of chromosomes. 
some key points to note in meiosis. Meiosis begins with diploid cell, only produces gametes genetically different haploid cell. Meiosis has two cell division stage, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 produces two haploid cells, each containing one chromosome from the homologous pairs. Meiosis 2 separates sister chromatics to produce four haploid gametes. In prophase 1 synapses pairing of homologous chromosomes, tetrad, four sister chromatids of paired homologous chromosome, crossing over recombination of allele in homologous chromosomes, result of crossing over genetic variety in gametes. All gametes are haploid.